Okay, I got a pretty good video this time. Now, have you ever been on YouTube and you seen a cool music video that you really liked or maybe even old episodes of cartoons or your favorite clip of anything really? Well, you know, you wish you could download it and you know, you end up messaging these people and bugging them about, hey, send me this, send me this, and it's really irritating, okay? Nobody likes getting messages, thousands of messages about, hey, send me this give me the URL for this. No fun. So I'm gonna make everybody's life a whole lot easier for you, whether you're the person with the cool thing that everybody wants, the cool video, or if you're the YouTuber that wants the cool video. I'm gonna show you how to get it. And it's simple, okay? I'm a little computer leap, okay? That sounds pretty lame, okay? Well, I know about computers but you don't have to, to do this. It's, anyone can do it. It's simplified. So, I'm gonna show you a way where you, yes you, even you. Okay, the first thing you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to download Firefox as your web browser. If you don't have that, you can't do anything. Okay, you're gonna have some uh, nice bookmarks preset for you here. Now, Mozilla Firefox and customize. And when you get there, you're going to go to the little tab that's going to say add-ons. And when you get to that, what you do is go to the search bar, all add-ons, and write download helper. And when you have that, it's going to be right here. This is the thing you need. Now when you've clicked on the video download helper, this little thing will pop up on your computer screen and it's going to say extensions and download helper. You're going to have to restart Firefox. It's going to give you the option right here to restart it. Okay. And now once you have that, it'll also tell you that you need a conversion thing. And it's going to tell you exactly where to get it. And you go ahead and you download that too. Now, it'll already enable it so you don't have to push anything there. You can also download uh, another special thing for it to make everything that you download private so nobody can know that you did it. And, okay. Now let's see. Now once you've downloaded the, the thing, it's going to show this, there's going to be an extra thing up here for you now. You can see it's unactive right now. Let's say you go to something YouTube and look, it's active. Now, it's going to show you a million, if you clicked on it, it'll show you a million different websites and you can go to those websites and it's very helpful look. It'll show you thousands and thousands of websites that have videos that you can, you can snag. But we're not going to use that. There's also going to be a little thing next to every YouTube video. Okay, so here's a Care Bears movie thing. Say you wanted that. You just go to this little arrow and you're going to have to download and convert or else it won't work. Now the best file I found is you select Windows Media and go to Details. You're going to have to have it as an AVI format. That's the only way it's going to show up. Okay. And when you do that, you're going to save it and it's going to take a little bit of time. It's going to download it and then the conversion thing will come up for you as well. And it'll do everything by itself. You won't have to do anything. Now, see, when you get things downloading here, and once they're done, it'll do the rest for you. Now, say so you place it wherever you want it. I've got it in my web videos. Okay, it's going to show up as a file like this. It's not going to look like anything. All you got to do is double click it, go down, select Windows Media Player. Now it's going to. Alright, in the corner, it's going to show you a message saying that it might not work, but just try it anyway, and it will. See? And it'll have this little thingy up here in the corner now for every video. It'll automatically put it. And there you go. You have a YouTube video. You can snag it. This little, now this little message right here is the thing that's converting it. You don't have to do anything. Don't push anything. Just let it finish by itself. Okay? And don't touch anything. Just You can keep doing what you're doing. doesn't matter. Just don't touch it. Okay? It's just converting the file for you. And you don't have to do anything. 
Alright, it's that easy. Just don't push it. Trust me, don't mess with it at all. And it'll disappear in a second, and then down on the screen, it'll say your files have been converted. And then that's when you go check it out and make sure it works. Okay. Hmm. Pretty helpful, huh? Okay, so that's pretty much it. And anybody can do this, okay? If I can do this, you can do this. This isn't a stupid college video where you gotta put in a lot of work and if I can do it, you can do it. No, you can do it. I, I swear, you'll be able to do this. It's simple. Sometimes you gotta redo it a couple times, it might not work. Sometimes it shows up as a Windows Media Player thing and I've noticed that that hasn't worked. It's just the unknown file will work. And you just choose that and there you go. If you have any questions, just send me a message, hit me up. If you can't get it to work, I'll help you through it. So. I think that's pretty much it. Okay. Peace. Now you can get videos offline. Any video you want. That simple. Okay. Have a good day. Peace, everybody.